Nick. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I know, Layla. Thank you. How you doing, baby? Yeah, that's Mama's baby. Yeah, you gotta be careful, right? That's right. It's okay. They're just fireworks. Yeah. I know. Okay, you're coming home now. You be ready for daddy? Daddy be here soon. Hey, babe. Hey. Oh, I just got home. Did you, did you get Dakota from his party? Ugh, real funny deal. I got a few things. I got hot dogs, um, some buns, of course. Hamburgers. I guess some chips. Oh, 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 happy Fourth of July! Oh my God! Hey, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just some little skits with fireworks. No, it's okay, babe. I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, did you get him or, or what? Because I really need your help. I want this to be perfect. Yeah, I just need your help. Yes. Mm-hmm. I told you they picked up my shift at the hospital, right? Yeah. Where are you? Your new students are that bad, huh? What do you mean he's not there? Well, maybe he's trying to spawn off something. Oh, 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 no, 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 it's just a baby, it's just a baby. It's a baby, it's just a baby. Oh, oh, I need to get something in my system. Oh, oh, here's a coat upstairs. Okay, I'll see you soon. Good chance we lose both 
if we try to keep the baby. We need to know your choice. The July Scorcher at KO 33 California Public Radio. Today's burning topic. Could the current generation win World War II? Do you really see a bunch of millennials storming the beach in Normandy to carry on their family's legacies? Can we turn off the politics for one day? I think this is important for our son to hear. Is this the part where you tell your war story about cutting your thumb on a can of beans? Mom, why didn't you tell me Dad's getaway was going in the mountains with no Wi-Fi for a week? Because we are cavemen! Primal man! <laughs> Look, I can't think of a better way to spend 4th of July than getting the heck out of the city. You smell that Dakota? It's the fresh scent of pine. I like horse shit. <laughs> Look at this guy. Boomer rule number one, fill up your tank before you hit the mountain, buddy. What are, you, what are you doing? You what? don't know if you can be a maniac or anything. What if it were us? NPR just done a report on the benefits of I don't of care. Hi there. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna try Ted Bundy Hall or anything like that. Um, I, Really, she, she, she's broke as shit. I, I, I think it's the engine. Bullshit. <clears throat> Forgot to get gas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, what are y'all doing up here anyway? Coming to see how the other side lives or something? Yes, yeah, something like that. Well, you're gonna enjoy this land up here. Special place. Yeah, you know what they say, uh, we leave a part of ourselves everywhere we go, right? Yeah, well, I'll be damned. This <laughs> park ranger shows up when you need him. Not like the police around here. Anyway, y'all go on and have a good fourth, huh? Nothing makes me happier than seeing a family celebrating the holiday together. Thank you, glad we could help. Yeah. He was kind of an odd duck, huh? <laughs> you think? I bet he'd be fun to go hunting with. Can we add that to the itinerary? What did you say? Said we should go hunting. Last thing you need is a gun. And you better not have brought that damn knife. Neil, look out! If 
thought you missed it. I thought I did too. Holy shit, Dad. And you kill a deer without a gun. Very primal. Any more smart comments, and we can go primal on yourself. It's already been shot. It's a little close to the houses for hunting. Ah, oh, damn! I told you got his ass, Reagan. Bull's motherfucking eye. <laughs> I thought I missed it. I've been chasing this thing through backyards the past half hour. <laughs> hey, folks, how y'all doing? Oh, uh, we're good. Well, we work good. Just stand up on the mountain for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch out, shit. Oh, be careful. She's a squirter. Oh, sorry about that. No, no, it's fine. Really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing you missed her. You know, the Bamba here would have turned your Prius into paste. Good gas mileage, though, eh? Well, yeah. Reagan, if you get the ass, I'll get the head. <clears throat> I'll see you. See you around. I'm enough for you. Did you see his wife? And how she was looking at Dakota and I? I grew up in a spot like this, man. Anything new gets a stare. Don't read too much into it. They're harmless. They had guns, Neil. Well, just be glad you don't ever have to see those nut jobs ever again. That was gnarly. Did you see when he jammed the knife in and twisted it around? Can you believe someone called me with a 4th of July deal for this quaint, idyllic retreat? <laughs> Wait, so we got duped into one of those timeshare scams? No, they sounded like perfectly reputable people. Most con artists do, Dad. Did you read the reviews? Dakota, let's just wait to judge, okay? Wow. See you guys? This place is kind of nice, right? Trust your old man. Yeah. Nice in the bed bugs kind of way. It's going to be a good opportunity for us. I know it. Just give it a chance. That's all I'm asking. Fine. Cool shirt, boss. Hey, it's vintage. What? Skinny room for dead animals. Well, fine line between rustic and creepy as shit, huh? Gunshots? Mom, you're just hearing things again. Again? Just early fireworks. Hey, babe. Go. K 
Kick your feet up. Dakota? Duty calls. <clears throat> Hey, look, I know you're trying to do the angsty teen thing, but could you knock off the comments to mom, It's please? been a year. Dakota, She's not... I need you to say it. I'll be nice to mom. Thank you. What a concept. I still think we should have got fireworks. That guy at the gas station was holding out on it's us. It's a fire hazard. Tinder's really dry out here. It could go up like that. Okay, Smokey the Bear. Metal as fuck. Dakota. Hey. Hey, Dad, did we book this place on Dot B and B? Hey, it's got um. Historical charm. Look, the photos made it seem better, okay? Find a spot for this. The full set table, dishes in the sink? Feels like the beginning of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Like someone else is living here? Rentals. Uh, previous guests probably left early and owners didn't have time to clean up. Listen, I'll give them a three star, no, two star review. How about that? That'll teach you. Fuck my wife, we have no Wi Fi? One car. It's a great They have a really brief on button. Good luck in Instagram. Hey! <laughs> hey, listen, there'll be more time to plant our man hike, huh? Man hike commands go out into the woods and we do manly things for lifting trees out of the ground, you know? Okay, Dad. I'm gonna go explore. Keep working on that man voice, though. Careful. Am I really that boring, Dad? Honey, you're his dad. Can't stop thinking about what the counselor said. Hey, we all do weird shit when we're young. Remember when you and I got freaky? He brought a knife to school, Neil. Listen, this weekend will be good for all of us. It'll pop his Twitter bubble, and uh, you and I will have a little... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Was this the middle-aged white guy mating ritual? It's the alone time, Dad. <laughs> alone in the cabin in the woods. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Speaking of, it looks like someone left us a Fifty Shades gift. Oh, God. Oh, a welcome guide. Welcome to your idyllic retreat at Cortez Grove. Built by Spanish immigrants in the 1880s, the Grove was America's most luxurious rest spa before becoming a private residence. We kindly ask not to disturb them, but feel free to explore trails around the manor. That creepy ass manor in the way up? Can't wait. Interesting, huh, babe? Mm hmm. This mask? was discovered by Horace Walpole, who built the cabin on the original property, which burned down in 1930. Locals say he made a deal with the devil that riches fell upon the bloodline that owned this mask, therefore saving it from the flames. Rich folk are an odd ass bunch. Yes, I think of the antiquities left buried in the woods waiting to be discovered. I want to discover a shower. I still have deer on me. Well, you do that, and I will finish unpacking the car. I shall be reborn with hot dogs and s'mores. Mm, just like the Aztecs. Well, they did use chocolate in early cultures, but mostly <laughs> as a beverage. Honey, honey, I love 
your big brain. Yes, but you also love my big. Uh, uh, uh. We'll play student teacher later. I'm gonna hold you to that. Don't you think that shot is creepy? Hmm? Well, problem solved. Now, how about we start this getaway right? Downstairs. He's exploring. Let's get weird. Just can't, okay? I thought we promised one weekend leaving our problems at home. She wasn't our problem, Neil. She was our daughter. You think we're too broken? Dr. Brett thinks Dr. That... Brett's not here on ground zero. I know. Now someone's here. Someone's out by the shed.
Mind telling us what you're doing in our place? I could ask you the same thing, miss. Did y'all go through our stuff? The booze is open. We booked the place for the whole weekend, Karen. Maybe, but the vodka came with me. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's been a mistake. Um... Huh. Why ain't that some shit? Fuckers double booked us. Try to take advantage of Patriots on 4th of July. I'm calling the company, Papa. Now, now hang on just a minute there, honey bun. You know, this place is bigger than Gun Show in Texas. Tell you what, why don't you all take a side? We'll, we'll take the other side. <laughs> I mean, come on, folks. We got enough booze and grub to make the Founding Fathers jealous. Besides, I'm known for a 4th of July fireworks. Loud enough they can hear us over in England. Fireworks? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dakota. Boy, I'm gonna drive back down that bumpy ass road. Son, I always wanted. Oh, no offense, Reagan. So, what do you say? Be on. Do you really want to drive home in four hours? Okay. You sure? Just need help dressing deer. <laughs> Not eating it would be the cruel thing. I'll help you gut it. Man after my own heart. Let's get to gutting. Hey, Reagan, can you grab my knives? Hey, you said we gotta get primal. Caveman! Woo! My mom said the best way to make amends is a stiff-ass drink. How about it, Rumi? Just us girls? Just let me freshen up. <laughs> Do you know that serial killer Ed Gain made a chair out of human skin? Oh shit. Real handyman, eh? Hey Neil. Do the honors. <clears throat> now you start the asshole. Wait, I can't say asshole, right? <laughs> well, your dad sure looks the part. Y'all come camping down here much? He wishes. We don't leave the city a lot. Mm. So what's your business, Neil? I'm a teacher. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you don't teach a survival course. <laughs> so what do you teach? Psychology. Social justice and a social media. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you're serious? Well, that's just some millennial shit if I ever heard any. <laughs> that's no joke in this game. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the CB radio. See, back in the day, you get snowed in up here. That's the only way in hell of getting out. Hmm. Attention, ancient hunters. This is Boomer Radio. Any boomers out there? I wonder if it's still... Oh, oh shit! Bring on the zombie apocalypse. Reagan, you want to give Neil a hand there before he gives himself a vasectomy? Think you could do better? Yeah, I dissected a pig in class once. Damn! That's what I call two for the price of one! <laughs> wow. She was pregnant. Mm. Makes sense why she was so heavy. Shame. A few more months, we could have Bambi on the grill here with her mama. <laughs> uh, I need some air. I'll be back. All right, honey. Wicked. Yeah. You want to see something else, Wicked? <laughs> you ever seen this shit? Tannerite. Never heard of it? Put the shit on the target. Let the 45 loose and bam! Real American fireworks. <laughs> you wanna come shooting later, son? Oh yeah. All right, Grady. I appreciate it, Grady, but uh, unfortunately we have a family outing planned for later. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I can. He's afraid of guns. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm just on a different side of the aisle with gun laws. Bummer. I was a Democrat once. We all join the dark side eventually. Damn, Neil. You're gonna have to get them dockers dry cleaned. <laughs> Let me make you my family's secret martini recipe. 
beige homemade robe. Don't even get me started on those weird ass paintings. Right? Oh, finally, something we agree on. <laughs> Ooh. Cheers. I, I really think I'll, I'll- Don't think, do. Drinking alone makes me sad. We deserve it, right? If our husbands don't put us in the grave first, our kids will. All Grady talks about is politics and old cop stories. Hell of a year, eh? <laughs> Kicker, huh? Don't worry, you'll get used to him. What do you do? Um, I'm a uh, in between jobs, but I'm a nurse by trade. Oh, nurse? That must be tough. How do you have time to raise a family? Uh, is your husband Nate? Neil. Neil. Does he spend enough time at home? Uh, he teaches nights but we make it work. Hmm. What about you? What do you do? Hmm. Make a house a home. God, it sounds awful, but it's tougher than you think. After Grady's injury on the force, shuttling Princess Reagan around became a full-time job. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Teens, huh? <laughs> Amen to that, sister. <laughs> Reagan went from barely talking to blabbering on the phone every night with the boy. Is uh, Dakota into girls? Um, I think so. He, um, he keeps himself. Don't know what your kid is up to. Well, our kids being happy is all that matters, right? your mother. Sorry I tried to have fun with you. What happened again, Mom? Neil, Ava was telling me all about your family. I can't wait to get to know you better. <laughs> Big Papa G, why don't we get that meat started? Let's do it. All right. Why did you let him do that? I told him not to. He doesn't listen to me. Maybe he's noticed. I just... Why did I get so worked up? How was, uh, how was Big Papa G? Eye opening. Mm -hmm. Dakota really seems to take a liking to Grady. I'm gonna go for a run.
500 years ago, the Aztecs paid sacrifice to Zipe Totec, a flayed one, a god without flesh nor skin, replaced by the skin of ritual sacrifices. Every four years, when the sun and golden harvest align, a blood offering was made. Two groups of people selected to kill each other. The vanquished one's bloodline sacrificed to the earth. He lay dormant for a time until the greed of Hernan Cortez conquerors awoke him. They traded blood for gold, flesh for riches, and death for life. But if they failed to deliver their sacrifice, then Zipe Totec would rise again from the void between men and beast to devour existence. Oh, what the fuck? Good job, Eva. Get lost in the fucking wild. Fun times, fun times. Ah, Dr. Brett says you gotta forgive. You gotta take responsibility for, ah! Yeah, damn, Jesus, that hurts. Ranger, it's my job. Oh. I'm sorry I scared you. Oh, crap, that ankle does not look too hot. This is a grade two aversion sprain. You a doctor? Nurse. Wait, didn't we see you along the road earlier? Oh, Randall, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, oh God. He's a, a doomsday prepper that ran out of gas. Yikes. Yeah, he's, he's harmless. You won't have to worry about him anymore. Well, I saw some people making something out there in the woods. Weirdo elites playing dress up, I guess, you know? Buying into Cortez Grove being sacred or some shit, you know? You don't cross their wall, they don't cross yours. God bless America, right? God bless America. Jesus, look at me. I ran track in college. I can't even go out for a jog without spraying something, right? Yeah, yeah, you just, you look like a smart woman having a bad day. How about I get you home and make your day better?
the Tenerite is that shit. I told you. <laughs> Dad, check this Dakota, out. Dakota, inside. <laughs> now, Neil, I know you said you didn't want him to, and I know he didn't want I just, I was just trying to Dad, help the boy. Come on. Inside, now. It's all right, son. We have some sort of problem. Neil, I apologize. Man to man, dad to dad. I was out of line. I was just trying to help your boy is all. Oh, I didn't realize he needed help. Well, it just seems that he could use a strong male role model is all. Gotcha. Hey, um, could I try? <laughs> sure. There you go. Now, Neil, it's a Beretta, so the safety's over. Pops was a drill sergeant. I just chose a different parenting style. Been around guns my whole life. Doesn't mean I need to like them. All right, Wyatt Earp. Why don't we try to reach across the aisle and have fun tonight? Fair. I'm gonna try to be the bigger man and no one to walk away. Here we are. Hey, thank you again. You got it. Ice up so you don't bruise. Oh, <laughs> only my ego. I never got your name, Ranger. Corbin. Nice to meet you, Corbin. Nice to meet you, too. I can't wait to meet your family. They sound special. Yeah. Here. found this out by the shed. According to the welcome book, it's an Aztec death whistle. They use it for war, sacrifices, and celebrations of the dead. Hey, can I uh, ask you something? Is it uh, hard being a mom? The hardest, but it's also the greatest. Why? <laughs> How far along are you? How'd you know? Because I had that same look in my eyes when I was 18 and pregnant. Thought he was special and he wasn't. And I made a mistake. Moms understand. 
Mine wouldn't. She'd say it's God's will, and if I didn't want it, then it's a sin. I just don't know what to do. I mean, it's it's already been a month, and I don't even know if I know how to No one knows until the time comes. A lot of people... They don't get a choice. It's made for them. You're lucky. Whatever you choose, don't listen to anyone else. Just decide if you're gonna love and protect that baby with every ounce of your soul. Okay? My so-called friend came to me and told me that my boy would put me down. He said I saw her with another guy making never not spot in this town. And so I asked my so-called friend, I said, buddy, what do you think I ought to do? He said I'd leave on the next train out and tell nobody where I was going to. So I went down and I bought a ticket to thank him for his kind advice. Told my so-called friends he'd never get a chance to hurt me twice. Sorry. How old are we? Dude, it's a classic. Respect. Wait, is this like a dollar store knockoff version? <laughs> Mom, did Dad tell you how pissed off you got? I wasn't pissed off. <laughs> Lesson learned. Lesson learned. No guns for the blue state. <laughs> it's not a red state, blue state issue. <laughs> Just as long as you were safe. He's a fucking cop. I think he knows how to use a gun. Dakota. Sorry. <laughs> I got a question for you, Neil. Let's say somebody breaks in, attacks your family. What are you going to do? I'll call the police. <laughs> Smart man. But let's just say they can't get there in time. Then what? Let's not talk about politics. Can we talk about something else? Of course, honey. Hey, Grady. Hmm. You ever had to use your gun? Coda, that's no, no, rude no. to ask an officer. No, no, no. It's, no, no, no. It's all right. It's all right. Unfortunately, son, it did. So I'm on patrol, right? I'm in my cruiser. And this car rolls by, all suspicious like, blasting music. They roll right through the stop sign on Garland Avenue. So I chirp, chirp, pull them over. They're all like, yes, officer. And I, oh, I'm sorry, officer. And I thought we stopped, sir. But I can read them. They're nervous. So I tell them to exit their vehicle. Now I know these people, all right? And I know how they like to hide drugs in their car. So I take it out of park, hit the left blinker, Tap the brakes twice. Boom! Secret drug compartment. I'm telling you, the biggest drug bust in years. No way. Yeah, so I go to cuff him. One of them takes off running. So I pull my weapon. He keeps running. I say, freeze or I'll shoot. He keeps running. So boom, cap him right in the knee. He goes down like a sack of flour. Let me tell you, his friend is already reading himself his Miranda rights. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> what way was he running? What? Mom, just put a turn. No. You, you said he was running and you shot him. What way was he running? I had him on possession with intent to distribute. I wasn't letting him walk. You know what? I need a refill. Does anybody else uh -uh, need... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean by suspicious? Blast some music and driving slow? Some fireworks outside? One no, of no, Neil. You teach a class on this for God's sakes. He pulled them over because they were black. I didn't say anything about that. Didn't have to. Yeah. All right, you know what? So what? Who cares what color their skin was? I was right, wasn't I? You shot an unarmed black kid. No, oh, I shot a drug dealer. And you know what? I'm offended that you wouldn't even suggest that I'm a racist. When I'm on the job, uh -huh. I don't see color. Uh -huh. I don't. I'm out there uh -huh. doing my job. For all we know, color. that child could look like Dakota. <laughs> well, you know what? If you watch your child, then you got nothing to worry hey, about, hey, do hey, you? Don't. My oh. child? <laughs> wow. 
Judge not that you be not judged. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the libs were godless. <laughs> you know, I don't have to worry about my Reagan. Because I raised her right. I trust her. Is that true, Dad? Of course it is, honey. Why wouldn't it be? Because I'm pregnant? You're what? The fuck do you mean you're pregnant? Hey, Who the hey, fuck hey, did hey, this? Hey, no, we're not going to go. Get another drink. Go. Did you know, Ava? Um, I'm, I'm a nurse. Uh, I figured out before she could even tell me. But she did tell you. Pitch. Leave it to the junkie to be the shoulder to cry on. Hey, now, what's that supposed you know, to be? Maybe your wife should worry more about what her own son is up to versus her junkie habit. I saw your pill collection. A nurse who freezes at the sight of blood. Hopefully nothing real ever happens to Dakota. Well, no worse than your fucking bottle collection, bitch. Sorry. That's a call for. Are you seriously defending him? I'm not mad. I'm not set. Well, that's the guy's honest truth, Neil. Didn't say a peep. You're mad at me? Fine. Depressed? Got it. But you're on leave at work and snapping at Dakota and people we barely know. It's like you're a bomb looking for a reason to explode. After the baby, I she thought... She had a name. After... Layla. After your job situation. Don't you think we just need a moment to breathe? Their daughter is pregnant. And how is that any of our business? Because they don't get to criticize how we raise our kids! Kid. You said kids. I am sorry. I love you so much. I would have said safe. She'd still be here and you both would be better. Are you hearing yourself? Are you? I made that choice for us, and I do it again. I made for. I told you. No. <laughs> you can hit me. You can push me away. But I did it for us. you as long as you need. I can't imagine the weight you've had to carry. But if you'll let me, I'd like to carry it too. Can you give us a moment, D? It's Grady. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, this, um, this was a mistake. So uh, we're packed up. We're going to get moving on. Um, left you some venison. It's kind of a peace offering. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, we'd already be gone, but the truck's having trouble starting. I think the point is to hit the target. Is your mom always like that? No, nah, she, uh, she lost a child last year. We were coming up here for a chill vacation. So long for what is that? Well, if it's any consolation, my dad is always an asshole, and not just on holidays. Yeah, that felt like a really storybook moment to tell your family you were pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think my dad shit himself. <laughs> shit. Past tense. Oh, OK, Mr. Professor. You want me to show you how to not be a shat with a knife? Oh. It's kind of romantic out here, huh? No phones, no people. I don't know. I'm weird, I guess. Weird? You're great. At least your parents don't think you're crazy. No, they just think I'm a whore. Demon bound for hell because of premarital mistakes. Maybe it wasn't a mistake. It's probably just fireworks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, uh, want to get into some trouble? Saw a pretty sick hot tub in the cabin over. You want to break in? I mean, aren't walls meant to be crossed? All right, well, you have fun with your cool knife, and I'm going to go take a dip. Wait up. Where the hell is Reagan? <sighs> Clearly, I ain't the best to keep my eye on her. You, you mind giving us a minute while we play doctor on this here truck? Maybe she's hiding from us. I I get under there myself, but I got two bulging discs. Doc says one more flare up, and I'll have to get her fused. Some folks say they'd rather be waterboarded. OK, with you, Neil, I'll guide you. Sure, I'd love to. Be careful, it's rocky. What am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for anything that don't look right. And what would that be? Anything that don't look right. The woman she just met over her own mother. I must be a bitch, huh? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean everything I said. About me or my husband?
Is this breaking and entering? It's just entering at this point. All right, boost me, boss. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. We gotta go. No, let's go. Come on. Hey, I thought you were dangerous. Mr. Tough Knife Guy, huh? I just feel weird. You being pregnant and all. I just, I don't want to. So I don't. Not into me anymore. No, no, that's that's not it. It's... I just want to feel normal again. Hey, hey. I, I just, I don't want to hurt you. You won't. What? Is that me? Is that a What? Wait, was that there the whole time? Now, let's go. Ever tell you about my ex-partner? Uh, nope, you sure have not. Called him Lughead. <laughs> One of those, uh, Mr. Handy Dandy, no need for mechanic, cash bar at the wedding types. A real good guy, though. Fix everyone's rides, till one day something slipped. Whole car came loose. What? Oh, now he, he didn't die, but now he shits through a hole in the stomach. After that, I made sure to get one of these here quality jacks. Uh, yeah, uh, Grady, could you please not? Between you and me, I think his wife staged it. It's easy to make something look like an accident if you know how. You know, I always try to do right. It just goes wrong. Regan's done gone preggers. Barb blame herself. She's not blaming me. Hell, I was too idealistic to become a cop in the first place. Start off thinking you can help people and you just end up taking out the garbage. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, uh, well, I'm sorry your powwow got ruined. Yeah. I think we have a bigger problem.
Okay, look, Grady, I enjoy a good conspiracy thriller, but no one here is gonna keep your family and my family in the same place longer than necessary. Oh, shit!
are you doing? Be your dad, Jordan. Just... You just need a lighter. Wait, I'm gonna use my dad's lighter. We had smokes in the car. We gotta board up the windows. Run. All right, Coda, you need. Come on, okay. go. Okay. Hold on. What can we do? Uh, oh we God. need to board up the windows. You find stuff to board up the windows, all right? Okay. Keep your heads down. Stay okay. low. Stay low. I, I just wanted to tell you in my own time. I know. Hopefully we're gone before we find out. Well, that's the last of the ammo. They've been laughing at us the whole time. The fuck? Who is it? These videos. These rich assholes been luring people here for years. Wait, I remember this from my spiritual guide. The flayed one, the, the grove, the... Pagan sacrifices? It's us. They're going to sacrifice us. They need us alive. Oh my god, look! Where's it, Reagan? What is it? Oh my god, it's the cops. Hello? Come back in. We're not leaving an innocent man at the slaughter. Oh my god. They're going after him. Oh, oh my god, go! Oh. Shit. Look out! Oh. 
Causing trouble, and I came to check it out. They, they killed them. We saw it. So how the fuck are we gonna get out of here? My radio. Your shit's fucked. Cell phone, no landline. Wait, there's a CV radio in the Skinner. What? No, he's right. I used it earlier. I got signal. We can use it to call for help. Yeah. Okay. You want to go back out there? You have much of a choice, Ranger? So who is it going to be? I'm going. What a cold day in hell are you going? What? You think your clumsy ass going to make it out there? Mom, your ankle. I've ran on worse. Anybody else run track in college? Huh? I thought so. Stay here and cover me if you see anything. I even know. It's okay. Stay with them. find something useful. How much ammo y'all got? Six more bullets. Shit. As long as they don't know that, we're fine. Have you ever heard of any weird shit like this happening? Just whispers back in the day. Satanic panic shit. You know, rich folk up here keep to themselves. You said you got calls from others, right? Yeah. Hank, he, um, he, he called about some people causing a racket outside of his house. We didn't think anything of it until he called back and said two kids were in his pool. What else did you say? What did he say? That there were two kids in his pool. Oh, that was you. That was you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I fell in with my clothes still on. He must have mentioned the beer too, didn't he? Yeah, he said that there were some kids and he saw the bottles. Going on? No, he's lying. He's, he's lying. lying. We weren't. I didn't lie. I didn't follow the rule with my clothes on. Yeah, I just saw that. He's on my phone. There's no fucking way. I promise you, he's lying. There's no way. Just by the time he saw us, he was dead. Look, you got me there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Look, I'm sorry. 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 Look, I'm
me off yeah. to Cortez, bro. Woo! Vanderbilt, Carnegie, Rockefeller. For centuries, their wealth was built on the lower class, like yourselves. Fuck you! Destiny. Please, no, stop! had to come here. The universe chose me for this, just as it chose you. Just as should be Totec, ask the Aztecs for more blood in exchange for wealth, just as he asked the Spanish for more flesh in exchange for victory. Just as we here deliver our pound of flesh in exchange for the riches of life. The Aztecs rule for a thousand years, and we plan on more. This land was built on spilt blood. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. No, no. This, 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 this is, this isn't a bad thing. This is beautiful. This is, this is faith. A gift from my family to yours. All right. Now, can we, can we let this festival commence? Do we have your blessing just as the great Sibito Tech blesses us all? <laughs> if your blood isn't sacrificed, we'll all be fed to the old one. Isn't martyrdom worthy enough? It was for her. You'll never understand how much I love you both. I'm sorry. No. No, no. Hey! Pick one! No. Yeah, you! Let me get this straight. You rich, 
fuckheads! You don't even make your own money? Are you just culturally appropriated from the Aztecs? Fuck anyone who isn't in the top 1%. Motherfuck anyone who can't afford to murder a family in exchange for a direct deposit from the Lord of the fucking damn! Black, white, left, right, sick, poor, you elitist bastards think you can divide us and bend us to your will? Wrong! You leave my family alone and you face me like a man, you fucking pussy! Sit the fuck down. We do not murder families. We let them do that themselves. Hey, you about to come run! No! Ah! <laughs> 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 Everyone wears a mask, Neil. I want to see what it's like to wear yours. It's time for you to be Hands. Tonight, one bloodline dies, or the flayed one rises. You will. Victor keeps their child. Vanquished joins their family on the pyre. We had a plan. I think we can get away if we work together. Okay. No! No! Daddy! That's not you, this man. Please, please. Get out! Oh, yes! 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 yes. 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 
Congratulations. Your bloodline has been saved. No, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I'm pregnant! I'm, I'm pregnant! I'm pregnant! Please, God, leave me alone! We are truly blessed tonight, aren't we? <laughs> a baby, we're blessed with a baby! <laughs> Don't you fucking touch her! Oh, come on, stop. Come on, now listen to me. I'm, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut it out, and I'm gonna drink its blood. Hey. So you do it. Dad's still back there. No, he's gone, baby. No, he he's has... gone, baby. He's gone. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry that your dad and I were not perfect. And I'm sorry after I lost Layla. I forgot about you. Don't believe we didn't love you, okay? You know why I'm so hard on you? What should be better than us? For when I'm not here. So you do that, okay? Ah, help! I know I asked a lot from you. I'm gonna ask one more thing. Don't follow me. Whoa. Where are you going? To finish this. <laughs> okay. Hey, Lily, please, it's okay, Ray. It's okay. Please, oh it's okay. Please, I got this. Hey, Don't me, worry. Oh I'm gonna get us through. Let it go. Please. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't want to let it go, man. It's gonna be fine. Baby, focus on me. Focus on me. David, no, please, God, no, please, God, no, please, God, no. Look, you don't want to do this, man. Come on. I gotta let him hurt you. What more do you want from us? You sick son of a bitch. Haven't you taken enough from us already? Do something. Oh my God, please, God, no, no, my baby, baby, save my baby. You want some more, please? It's 
Did I miss it? I did, didn't I? Fuck. Jesus. Four more years, huh? Look, I even got this cool mask. Now you're just in time. 